The yeah, Smart's she... not really in a great position. I mean, it could be a potential good engage here. You see Zach actually hopping over the wall, looking for it. We see the ulti come out, but Yasuo hasn't come in just yet. We see the ulti come in. It's not doing that much damage as the Gragas will just spreads everyone away. But we're going to see Dynamax be the first one to fall. Kali very low. He's trying to wait. He's going to go down in there. And so far, just a one for one trade, but they're still committed for this fight. Cholito in the backside of Payne's team. He's still tanking them up, and he's taking them long enough for the rest of his team to pick up some kills. It's a two for two, but now we get a double kill over to Severe right there, and that might have just won on this dragon. This mid turret. Oh, we see the dive in the back, with the old ultimate Minerva. He's gonna go down. He's not gonna get his stun up on anyone, unfortunately, as they're still diving onto this turret. Certainly forced the back away, popping that locket. But we see Yasuo follow down as well. We saw actually Jetix in the backside taking down the turret instead of going for the fight. But they pick up the two kills, they only lose one. They're still committing to this fight as Jetix going after Venon here. And they re engage Erleon on a Kami, but no one's in the back of the even though it's a knock on Venon. That is gonna be a kill coming for Jetix yet again here. And BRTT, he was just pushed out of the fight, not able to help out at, at all. But he's chasing down Severe flashes out of that. And Lewis right now trapped by himself, trying to survive, trying to get away as Neri comes in. It's not gonna be He's gonna fall and he's actually gonna flash over the wall right there. And it looks like that's gonna be the end of the fight, but a crazy, crazy fight from both these teams. Down in the city to really help out with this. And Minerva, he's trying to go for an engagement. He's trying to get the stun. They do land it. They have two more people to back him up. And this is gonna be a death. Unless fight doesn't have flashes. He's like that last fight, but a nice ultimate does slow them all down. He does drop in the hands of Venom for uh, just to win these fights. And right now, Neri, he's kind of getting caught here. Shalito's off the side. He could go for engage onto the backside. A nice ward actually just followed. The team is 13 goes in, lands onto Leona and to Shimon. Not the prior targets they want to make happen. As we see, Yasuo finally from the side, goes into the, the front side of the team, hitting 13 with the ultimate. And unfortunately, he's able to flash out and escape, but now Neri, he's low. He's forced to run away. Yasuo getting dropped very low. He gets taken down by BRTC, and now Neri, he's forced to run away. And Ben, he's not even being touched. You see the top side, can be taking out a kill right there. Lesbar trying to run away. They're not going to get the stun back onto him, but maybe Kevin can get the kill. No, well, the barrel misses, and they're still chasing down the shot. Oh, he just got tagged up right there, so unfortunately for him, he's not going to be able to get that uh, that suicide. He's actually trying to chase him down. Ben, it flashed from the wall. Wow. Gives the kill to BRTC, and while all this is happening, we're seeing a push come out of paint on this middle turret. Yeah, I think the Shibana was trying to make a power play, get the Lucian when he comes around the corner and just try to pop him. Uh, paint even back backline, or even their front line. Oh, I think they need more damage. There's the engage right there. We see Zach actually go straight into the back. So Minerva just caught the ultimate out of movement. Locks down three men, locks down the back, or the front line of Isiris, and they're forced to just completely back out. You see them, they're trying to go for Dynamax. They're trying to keep out of this fight. He's going to go down uh, to Kami right there. But the rest of them is just going in. They're just fine. One by one, Shalita goes down. Paint here, he's so low. He does not in the drop here. But at what cost is Kami now chasing down Gethix right there, who's staying alive. He's so he's stuck with house surviving with that one. He finally does fall. But he might see that first coming here for pain. And they're just going to sit there and end up killing the, the Zaku. It's a shame the jungle is not there. The most beautiful thing in the game is smiting from the Zaku's and just chasing their quadra kill. <laughs> they're open engage, they go straight for this, but they knock him out of the old ultimate! The RTT's going to escape this, and Zach knocking him up, and Di uh, Dynamox is just not taking up. He gets taken down by Ben and his Certi alone. He's got our uh, heat drops, and actually Certi chased on there. The Grok is real, not so way severe. So make something happen, Certi actually catches Baron. He gets pushed out of his team, he has, has it available. The only one that doesn't block down anyone yet, we see Shibana working towards the backside, gets the knockup, but Dynamox doesn't have anyone else to facilitate this. He's just hovering in and out of the fight, but Nervous finally going to draw him, and Certi doesn't care. He's still pushing. They get the kill. BRTT finally gets attacked in the backside. He does go down, I believe, in the hands of Dynamax, who's still alive. He's still trying to chase him down. He's still Jetix there. But just flash up, picks up the kill on the copy right there. And Venom trying to chase him down. But this is amazing by three inches. Venom, I, I don't think really Dynamax can take it down just because he's so tanky and so fast. But they get the four kills. They get the inhibitor back up. They keep their inhibitor and bottom turret alive. Go in there. It looks like he's going for that last slingshot. Trying to go for the He does pull it off. He actually hits Sir T, who actually gets very low already in the beginning. We see the knockout come out in the back. So he's keeping BRT uh, really busy right now, as well as Chalito jumping to the backside. Minerva, he's going to drop, but he does get the stun off. He does defend his carries, but right now it's a mixed fight across the board. Kami getting do or Dogen really far. They do get the kill with the severe. He pops the noise. He's going to stay alive, but Chalito and Lesfar are not the two damage you really want to make happen here. They get the kill to Kami. He's there. He comes in back for the fight. He gets Venom knocked up, and Venom, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to escape this one. He's trying. He's trying to do something here. He has much available. He's going to go over the wall. But we see Liana follow him right away. Just not stun up just yet as Neri even drops over the wall. A great pillar actually comes out, keeps him away, and he might actually be able to escape from this. He's going to escape from this. He's on the run. Three men were attacking him. Obviously not the to just take no yeah. away from you. Yeah. Uh, so let's see how Idris actually deals with that. And we see Payne, they're being 
more hits it now. They're respecting Idris a lot more because these past fights that have gone Idris' way. And they're not going straight in, but they do get the engage on the backside. Let's fight against Kabu. We see uh, Dynamox and he dropped Rayo. He actually dropped before. Oh, he does it! He gets the shield up! He's staying alive! He has the time to set, but he finally goes down to BRTC. And you see that Chase and Kabu finally tries to fight here as he's defending. I put the backline of his team for once. And you see BRTC get caught by Let's Fight. They're going into the dive. They do get the kill. BRTC picks that one up. They're going to get the hit. And look at these respawn timers with only Jetrix there and to defend against this. And actually, there is going to go down. I'm not sure if this can survive against this 1v4 as he actually is getting thrown out completely. They're going for the next turn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be game. I don't think Sivir's going to be able to hold off all four of these people. Oh no, she's not. It's Doma gets killed by Barrett TT. And that will be Kane taking on the next turn. It's taking the first game in the special 3 series. Gets Idris gaming and take it to a game number two here to see who advances on into the semifinals. Dynamox with that blue buff, it's been really hard to push past that. Wait, but oh, we see the buff right there. He doesn't get the flip though. And he stuck up on all three people. Carthus is sitting in the middle of his world. Beers is gonna go down. And the answers are chasing down. There's the Carthus over the first one of the game. But Nervous gonna survive for a baby little bit. The Drain should have kept pushing bottom and putting more pressure on that turret. Luff will be going over to Kami here, and we do see CRTT actually catching out Jetlix yet again. But will they commit to the fight here back to back? You see, this one gets a stun on to keep him back away. But he gets called the hook, the first one for him, and it's all They're gonna get the kill to Andy. BRTT picks that one up, and he has two kills now after being quiet this entire game. All right, well, let's see if that does happen uh, in about 15, 20 seconds right now. And I want to point out before we get to that dragon is that look what Payton have picked up in terms of their trinkets. They have three sweeping lenses. They invested that early on. We see the hook actually land onto Jetlix. They're going straight in on top. They burst it down instantly. BRTC picks up that kill. But now chasing that Dynamox, who's being chased down from this Olaf. Gets exhausted, but he doesn't care. He's freaking Olaf. Gets the kill. And just like that, they pick up two very quickly. We see the ultimate coming out of Carlos Minerva getting very low. He does get the play before he does get picked up. But still, what a fight coming out of Pain right there. It's a two for two trade overall. Caught out a little bit. Oh, he's actually getting chunked quite a bit, and Surti is going straight to the backside on the list card. He gets hooked, he's not going to get the stun off just yet. He flashes over the wall, the stun comes in, the Ori ultimate just pulls it together and near it. And Shalita, who was so tanky, doesn't have the magic to survive. BRTT's hiding him! He gets the kill, he's dodging the curve, he's stunned, he's not shielded. Will the shield be enough? No! He gets taken down, but Game they get it, Ace! He's definitely the scariest Oh, there's the any flash on it. Hits no one. They flash out of it. Call me dodge it. And they turn right around the ult out of order and it hits nothing, though. And Tolito comes in from the back side there. Gets the kill to Sir T. Now Payer being forced to run away. But BRTT is so, so healthy. He can force this fight if he wants to as Minerva drops. And Ares just pick up two kills with that wonky engage. Really difficult. Uh, Dynamax did use the ult for the last fight, though. So they're not going to have it for this one. And they're going for that engage on a BRTT. But look at the damage he's doing to him. He takes it down by himself with really no help from his team. They're going to keep pushing in. They're going to go for this turn as well. And with Surti there with that twisted advance, Isris has to get us up. Look at the damage that Annie just got taken. Surti jumps on top of him. They have the backup for the team. That is going to call a function and left on a jump. And the Horiano has been stretched down. That is an ace going at Kate Gaming. And most certainly, it's going to be the game. That's probably going to be in the game. Uh, Oriana just used her ultimate in the team fight before that. Guess what? It's already back up again. He probably, does he have a blue bot on right now? I know he has blue buff. Okay, yeah. So such a short cooldown on, on his ultimate. He managed to use it two times in one team fight. And Chalito, he's going in. He's trying to do something here. Trying to defend his face. He's taken down. The ace comes in yet again here. And Pain Gaming are going to go 2-0 against Isaris Gaming. They advance into the semifinals here at Intel Extreme Match from Sao Paulo. That crowd, I mean, you hear how happy they are with that victory. Pain. I mean, you can walk us through how the game started, how they were so far behind, and how they came back into that. They just didn't know.